In our previous video, we have discussed the first law of thermodynamics. In this video, we will discuss the enthalpy change. If you don't see our first video, then go to our channel and see our first video. In this video, we will discuss the enthalpy change. First of all, we should know about the enthalpy. Enthalpy is represented by H. capital H definition of enthalpy is the sum of internal energy the sum sum is the addition of thermal energy thermal energy which is represented by E sum of internal thermal energy E and the product product of pressure and volume means PV is called enthalpy enthalpy is the sum of thermal energy and product of pressure and volume formula by definition H is equal to E internal energy plus product of pressure and volume e is equal to H is equal to E plus P now discuss the important points important points related to enthalpy first point is enthalpy is a state function it is a state function number two enthalpy is measured in joule it is measured in joule and number three point is it is not possible to measure the enthalpy of system only change in enthalpy is possible to measure in a given system change in enthalpy can be measured but we cannot measure the enthalpy of system change change in enthalpy can be measured now prove that important question of exam prove that delta e delta h is equal to q p heat at constant pressure consider a gas enclosed in a cylinder consider a gas enclosed in a cylinder having a piston the external pressure on the piston is kept constant the external pressure on the piston is kept constant so that delta P will be zero now when Q heat is given to the system initial state of the system is this this is a volume initial state initial state initial state of the system Q is given to the system now the final state final state this is the V1 and this is the V2 this is V2 volume is changed when we give heat to the system its volume is changed v1 this is v1 first volume is v1 and second volume is v2 and it is work it is work it is work now when q is given to the system a part of heat is used to increase its internal energy its internal energy of the gas 
molecules increase and the rest is used to do work on the surroundings by increasing volume from v1 to v2 and work v1 to v2 work done according to definition of enthalpy h is equal to e plus pv a change in enthalpy of system is written as delta h is equal to delta e e is internal energy plus delta pv we can write it delta h is equal to delta e plus delta pv plus p delta v since the gas is kept at constant pressure gas is kept at constant pressure so delta p is equal to 0 hence equation becomes delta h is equal to delta e plus p delta v p delta v now for this was the for a gas 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 enclosed in cylinders and uh, enthalpy this is enthalpy this is enthalpy change and uh, when we take the derivative of del uh, pv whole pv it becomes delta pv plus p delta v at constant pressure delta p is equal to zero the equation becomes this for liquids and solids now for liquids and solids in case of liquids and solids the change in state do not cause significant volume change change in state do not significant change in, in the volume change means delta v is equal to zero for such process delta e and delta h are approximately same means delta h nearly equal to delta e according to first law of thermodynamics as we know delta e is equal to q plus w if w is a pressure volume work done by system then w is equal to minus p delta v work done by the system delta e is equal to q minus p delta v putting the value of delta e in equation delta e value is this delta e is equal to q minus p delta v put the value of work in first law of thermodynamic putting the value of delta e in equa above equation delta h minus q minus p delta delta h is equal to q minus p delta v plus p delta v delta h is equal to q since pressure is kept constant kept constant so delta h is equal to q p now what is the conclusion this shows that change in enthalpy change in enthalpy change in enthalpy is equal to is equal to heat of reaction at constant pressure at constant pressure The reactions are carried out at constant pressure more frequently than constant volume. So working with delta H is rather more convenient 
then delta E. So this was uh, the enthalpy change. First of all, we discuss the enthalpy. Enthalpy definition, the sum of uh, thermal energy and product of pressure and volume formula. And important points, it is state function, it is measured in joules and it can be measured. Delta E H can be measured, but delta but only H cannot be measured. Prove we prove that there is a gas enclosed in a cylinder when we give it give its heat, work is done by the system. Or uh, and enthalpy is E plus P V. Change in enthalpy is delta E plus delta P V at constant pressure. Delta H is equal to delta E plus P delta V. Now from uh, this was uh, for gases now from for the solid and liquids delta V is equal to zero because there is no change in the volume of the solids and liquids delta H then at delta H nearly equal to delta E delta E and uh, delta first law of thermodynamics delta E is equal to Q plus W work is equal to minus p delta v work is done by the system so it is uh, taken in negative delta e put a value in first law of thermodynamic we get this put the value of internal energy in above equations and we get the delta h is equal to q as it is on constant pressure so delta h is equal to q p Conclusion is that change in enthalpy is equal to heat of reaction at constant pressure. It is uh, more convenient than working with delta E. If you like this video, then please subscribe our channel. Thank you very much.